Good morning! Two weeks out, oh my god! Today I already finished my cardio. I just woke up and put my running shoes on and went outside because it is a glorious sunny day. And no, that is not a typical cardio session two weeks out from a fitness competition, but for me, it's what I wanted to do with my life today. So that's what I did. Two weeks out, guys. Two weeks. And I'm also going to do a physique update comparison. I'm going to do it. It's happening. just finished taking my physique video comparison video like it took me five seconds but I've been putting it off so long just because it's a weird thing to do and now I have to go do a leg workout I did my cardio and now I have to go to the gym two weeks guys two weeks left happy Sunday morning it's just after 10 I actually got up couple hours ago and I've already went for a run and now I'm headed to the gym then I go back home again and then pack up and head out to see my coach just thought I'd share that I got to the gym well actually walking to the gym feeling pretty tired I kept feeling this like moisture in one of my shoes and I was like what's getting into my shoe it's so weird so I get to the gym and realize that my water bottle had tipped over in my bag Spilling all the water I had in there all over my gym shoes and the contents of my bag so it was dripping out down my back of my jacket onto my feet so wearing my gym shoes but they're soaking wet 14 days once again a beautiful winter slash spring day totally lucking out with the sunshine considering I have to be on foot traveling around this morning so went for a run this morning at 8 15 a.m. came home had my first meal went to the gym for 10 o'clock worked out back and biceps and came home had a shower got my food bag here packed up and now I am headed to the train to go to posing class and have a check-in with my coach. First coffee, then train, then a bus, then I walk, then I pose, then we chat, and then I reverse all the way back to Vancouver again. I usually dread Sundays because it is such a crazy day, but it's also a very productive day and I'm in a good mood, spirits are high, 
I have food to eat, coffee to drink, so feeling good. Woohoo! I'm almost to my posing class, but I thought I should point out that my coach's gym is like directly across the street from a Krispy Kreme. I'm feeling like I know I'm gonna be seeing him post-show to do some check-ins, so me and Skylar are definitely gonna to have to hit that up. So I met with my coach, and he basically informed me that we're still on track, which is awesome, and we're gonna basically stick to what we've been doing for another week. However, he did notice I was drinking my BCAAs and told me that I need to quit drinking them because of the artificial sweeteners. So then I was like, ooh, does that mean you don't want me to have artificial sweeteners? Because I don't think he realized I was drinking diet sodas and sugar-free stuff. So that is correct. I'm supposed to be weaning myself off of all that because obviously, outside of the fact that artificial sweeteners are terrible for you, they can also cause you to um, have some water retention which is now kind of what we're aiming to start reducing so I will be doing my best this week to wean myself off of that stuff and I believe that I can do it so not too much further to go just chilling at home now it was a long day got her done though and he reduced my cardio to 40 minutes which doesn't seem like a big deal to some, but it is to me because that means I can get it done on my lunch now, I don't have to do any more after work, and I can just do my workouts after work, so. I also just made more of my dairy-free, gluten-free black bean brownies, chocolate black bean brownies for work tomorrow. We have a potluck tomorrow. Um, from my department at work for one of our staff members who just had a baby well his wife had a baby So we're throwing him a party while well, she stays home with the baby and he comes back to work seems pretty nice But anyways That's what we're doing. So that's what I'm making but of course not partaking at all in any of the foods because I can't but in two weeks I can I actually feel like these black bean brownies is one of the things I really want to make for myself when prep is over because they're not really that bad for you they're only like five or six ingredients and I love chocolate I might make myself these to have in the morning with some coffee I mean Skylar makes a really badass coffee so I might just I might just make a request for a Skylar coffee in my own black bean brownies this sounds really lame but it's kind of what I'm feeling Also, Skylar was sad that I made brownies for work, but not for at home. I just made them their own individual brownies so that they could have some right now because they hinted that my brownies smelled really good and I was like, they're for work. So, felt bad and I made them their own special little batch. Good morning, friends. It's Monday. Today, my department at work is having a special potluck lunch. I am going to be staying for that because I have to, really. So, I asked my bosses if I could actually just take an earlier lunch break and I'll stay later today and work late to make up the time. Why? Because I still need to do cardio today and I just cannot stack cardio on top of my weight training workout later this afternoon especially because it's my final quad workout Woo! so let's go get her done holy macaroni guys I just finished my final quad focused workout of this prep <laughs> I'm still going to have another leg day but it's going to be like a combined full leg lower body day next Saturday. I'm going to do a Q&A with Skylar this video. 
just to fill up some of the week because it gets pretty repetitive showing you me going to work, walking to cardio, walking back, walking to the gym, finishing workouts. It's kind of boring. 10, 11 days, 11 days. OMG. Happy Tuesday, guys. I am on my way to the gym to do my 40 minutes of cardio and just being super grateful that throughout this whole process, I've actually been able to do my cardio earlier in the day on my lunch for the most part. Just trying every day right now to think of all the little positive things. So, being thankful, on my way to do my cardio, shoulders this evening, and getting inching closer to the show day. Good morning. Um, I'm at work extra early because I went with Skylar to take friends to the airport this morning and decided to just come to work. The tricky thing about doing that is that I'm up a few hours earlier than I would have been regularly because we woke up at like 20 to 4 in the morning but I can't eat anything until I usually eat at about 8 a.m. because if I do that, I'm gonna screw up my whole day and be so hungry tonight, so I gotta to stick to my regular schedule with food. Um, I only have another hour now until I can eat. I'm so tired, and it's not like the usual tired, like you're sleepy tired, like I forgot my water bottle in the apartment when we got into the car this morning, and I did not have the energy to go back up the stairs to go get it. Like my legs are just way too tired and I couldn't fathom walking back up the flight of stairs to go get my water bottle. So back in the day when I used to forget things, I would jump out of the car, run up and grab stuff. And at this point I'm like, fuck it, leave it. So this is how we're starting Wednesday, which is also my extra long day at the gym because I have biceps and back and I have cardio today, so. It's gonna be one hell of a Wednesday. This is the face of someone who's been up since 3.40 a.m. And now it's 11.30 and I'm on my way to do the cardio. And in good spirits. Just one foot in front of the other. Wednesday. I literally feel like a walking zombie. Um, I don't know if you can see the exhaustion in my eyes, the vacant stare. I just feel like the sh a shell of a human being. I haven't been filming my workouts because I just takes all my focus to be there and get them done. So you've seen most of them anyways. I've posted a bit of everything over the last 15 weeks. So I will see you guys after my workout. It's Thursday. Look at these eyes. I'm just waiting for Skylar. They're grabbing themselves a coffee and a muffin while I just wait here on an empty stomach. But it's Thursday. Tomorrow's Friday. And then that's the end of my two weeks out. And then it's the beginning of one week and peak week which I haven't talked a lot about, but peak week is what they call the final week before a show, and it's basically your last opportunities to do all that you can so that your body will peak at the exact time of your show. We're almost there, guys. Happy Thursday. Eight days out. This morning I got an email from my coach outlining what my peak week is going to look like, which is next week, starting on Saturday. But right now, I'm off to do 40 minutes of cardio. Well, that was a bit of an epic fail. I got to the locker room and realized I didn't bring my clothes to wear to the gym. And I can't really do 40 minutes on a step mill and a knit sweater. So now I'm round two. Round two now, headed back to the gym. Just gonna have to work a little later tonight to make up the time. Thankfully, I can do that, so. 
also expending way too many calories walking back up this hill again. So that sucks. So it's Friday. I'm on my way to the gym. I'm super, super tired. Um, I had a two hour meeting today which pushed back my meals. Um, yesterday I didn't film much in the evening because I was so irritable and exhausted. I came home, I was just miserable. I had to apologize to Skylar pretty much every five minutes for anything that came out of my mouth because I was just like upset, angry, frustrated, tired, hungry. This is my last Friday on this diet. It's going to be different for next Friday. So I'm just trying to keep telling myself that every day. This is the last day of this. This is the last time I have to do that. I'm going to push myself as hard as I can, but it is what it is. Hello. Um, as I mentioned earlier this week, I'm going to wrap up the vlog with a little Q&A time with Skylar. Thank you for being such a sport. It's, we're just going to jump right into the, the questions just specifically about my prep and this experience so far. One of them being, how are we balancing self-care, taking care of ourselves, as well as balancing relationship stuff during this time? <laughs> um, I will go first <clears throat> and say that what I've learned about being in a fitness competition or prep is that it's a completely selfish sport. It consumes everything. It consumes your thoughts. It consumes your time. It consumes your energy. Everything that you talk about. Mm -hmm. Constantly. Like I, I feel bad because Skylar is obviously the one person in my life I talk to the most and it's been constantly about this prep since December but how are you balancing um I think that you know being in a marriage it's just important to remember that you're both individuals mm -hmm. um and that it's important to support your partner through something that um means a lot to them as an individual yeah um but I think that we really do well at giving each other space to just be who we are and do what we need to do to be happy. Because I know that when you know she's happy doing what she likes to do, uh, that reflects back into our relationship. And plus, I'm really focused yeah, you're very on my busy. DJing and I'm, and I'm going on a tour soon and stuff. So I kind of feel like it's I'm like equally a, as busy. So it's it, like it, a give and take kind of thing. Like there's gonna yeah. be times where our lives are more focused on what you're doing and stuff like that. And sometimes it's gonna be on what I'm doing. We, I honestly can say though, I think for both of us that we had no idea how consuming this was going to be. But the question being like, how do we keep balance is we really just, you have to remember just to make time for each other. Um, even if it's something simple, like sit down and play a board game together, go on a walk. Um, check in. Just check in. Yeah. You just have to remember to like amongst all the craziness, like just, it really helps us take some time and, um, hang out. What this question I feel will lead into is things that we, we miss because of this experience. And I think one of them is sharing meals together. Um, Skylar is a really good cook and cooks, we both live a very healthy lifestyle and eat a healthy diet. So I love eating the stuff that Skylar makes for dinner. And I think that that's been one of the biggest things that I've missed. <laughs> And like it hasn't been if Skylar buys certain foods that I'm like we can't have that in the the house. Luckily, or, yeah, that would be a total nightmare. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm I'm okay with all that kind of thing. Yeah, she's got a strong willpower for sure. Um, what has been your biggest challenge through this experience so far? You think overall? Uh, biggest challenge is mood mood because I think that when anybody is being deprived of <laughs> calories and carbs and it's a lot of pressure and stuff like that and I, I'm sure people can relate. It's really the diet and the experience and everything it really does affect you on a hormonal level and just nutrient level and just exhaustion. But as soon as it's she the, eats everything's fine for about an hour or two and then <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm hungry again. Yeah. Um, okay. Moving on. What activities, trips, or staycations do we have?
planned once this is over? Um, we don't actually have anything epic planned. I think just to kind of go back to like just something as basic as eating dinner together. Yeah, reconnecting. Going for um, skateboard. Giving, yeah, skateboard, bike rides, like and hiking. Doing the things we love to do together. And we do. We do have like a trip for San Francisco Pride. Yeah. And we're planned, but that's not till June. Oh yeah, we're going into friends. We as have well. trips planned just because we have trips plans because this is where we do. We're married and we love each other and we do stuff you, before together. We were, before we were married, we yeah. saw trips. <laughs> but um, <laughs> we don't have anything specific to celebrate this other than we're going for dinner. Yeah, we're going for dinner. I'm just happy to know, like you know, I'm I'm married to my partner who is you know an individual that's driven and and you know, goal oriented and, and can follow through on something she wants to do. I think that it's, it's inspiring. And even if she wasn't that way, I'd still love her, um, you know, the same, but I think it's, to me, it's like, that's, you know, uh, it's inspiring and, and it's, it's nice to be with someone like that in a marriage and, you know, Aww. I'm stuck with her. So it's good that she's, uh, <laughs> good that you like me a yeah. little bit. Yeah. Um, Just a little. One question that I have gotten a few times now is about um, following a vegan diet because um, we've in the past followed a vegan diet, vegetarian diet, and when I decided to do this prep, I decided to put my full control over to a coach and whatever diet they put me on is what I was going to follow. I just wanted to have the full real meal deal experience in terms of being a competitor with a coach. Yeah. So I've been off of a vegan vegetarian diet and right when I kind of started doing my competition, Skylar wanted to return to a more plant-based diet. Yeah, such, such good timing. I ate more meat and cooked more meat and purchased more meat than I ever have in my entire life for this prep. I never ate like that and Skylar has never eaten like that. So. Um, You've still been following, like, for the most part, a plant-based diet this entire time. Yeah. I have, honestly, because she's so dedicated doing this and doing it this way, this is what's happening, and it's just is what it is. It, and, and I just, all I know is I just challenged her for when this is all done. Let's see about this being done in a different way. So I do strongly... Well, I know after this is over, I'm going to be bouncing back into my previous eating habits. And I'm really excited because Skylar is an awesome cook, like I said, and makes amazing plant-based food. But basically because I'm plant-based, um, you know, she's got uh, dairy sensitivity, so that's not an issue. Um, yeah, we don't eat dairy. We really do try not to eat any gluten. Um, nobody's allergic to it here, but I, we just both notice like feeling really heavy in our tummies after. Um, tip for a good healthy sex life as a couple is to eat well and eat clean. What I've noticed is, is that like if you're eating really heavy or you're eating things that don't make you feel good um, every night or you know a couple times a week you know you're gonna be sitting around being like oh I have no energy yeah. I don't feel like being intimate you don't feel sexy I don't you don't feel sexy when you're laying on the couch yeah like so something we've really learned over the last couple of years is like eating clean eating light it gives you energy and it makes you feel good and that leads to other good things so it's well, a win-win that's how we're gonna leave this video <laughs> I guess yeah. our advice is you got you really do have to have a really solid foundation in your relationship and you have totally. to be with someone who understands that you might just be MIA for three months like you're not gonna be able to be doing relationshipy things and being the best partner it's just not possible and that person and you know like we both strongly believe that there's like a line and we're, and both of us need to be meeting at that line but there's going to be points in a relationship where it drifts to one side or the other depending on what a person's going through yeah totally and so th at this point skylar has been like crossed over to my side for quite a while um for at least a month and a half and so we're both excited to bring more balance back to that soon. Yeah. So we'll really leave it at that. Much. Balance. Put it there. Put it there, babe. Hey, hey. See that balance? You're such a champ. Such a champ. Love Teamwork. You. I know you do. Thanks, babe. Mm. All right. We'll see you guys next week. And that will be it.